Sleep is an important factor for anyone when it comes to recovery. However, it is essential for achieving optimal athletic performance. For improved athletic performance, one has to follow the principle of a training response. This focuses on maintaining a balance between the stress of training and other stressors such as academics, and a balance between fatigue and recovery. This is a psychosocial physiological phenomenon, meaning it's the relationship between psychological, social, and physiological factors. If all three factors can be enhanced and balanced, then athletic performance in theory should increase. If one or more of these factors fails, then athletic performance also will pay the price and decline. Sleep is particularly important for injured, traveling, and athletes under high training or competition periods. Previous research has shown athletes and teams who reported better sleep quality had better performance than those who reported poor sleep quality. Lack of sleep can lead to a reduction in cognitive and motor performance, reaction times, mood state, and emotional stability, and even changes in metabolic responses and neuroendocrine function. Neuro meaning brain and nerve function, and endocrine meaning the system of glands and organs that make hormones. Poor sleep quality is a marker of inefficient recovery and an early sign of overreaching in athletes. Overreaching can be broken down into functional and non-functional. Non-functional overreaching leads to a longer period of decreased athletic performance than functional overreaching and is also accompanied by neuroendocrine and physiological symptoms. For example, lowered immune system, depression, weight loss, and increased chronic cortisol levels. Poor sleep has been ranked as one of the number one reasons why athletes feel fatigued and tired, and sleep is often neglected as a recovery tool. Rather than prioritizing sleep, athletes tend to prioritize other recovery tools such as massage guns and foam rolling. So diving deeper into sleep and athletic performance, we're gonna talk about napping. Athletes can supplement sleep in the form of napping. One study we read stated that a nap of 30 minutes post lunchtime after partial sleep loss, which is four hours or less than their normal routine sleep, resulted in improvements in 20 meter sprint performance, alertness and decreased tiredness. Naps should be limited to 30 minutes and be avoided in the late afternoon because late afternoon naps can affect sleep at night. Another way to improve sleep quality is to practice a period of sleep extension. Sleep extension can simply be defined as increasing the average number of hours you sleep per night. For example, if you normally get six hours a night, try to extend this to eight or nine hours per night. Looking at a study with Stanford's men's basketball team, these athletes increased their normal sleep routine to 10 hours per night for a five to seven week period. This study resulted in improved performance in all measures, including faster sprint times and shooting accuracy. Players also reported improved mood and levels of alertness. Sleep hygiene can be defined as the behaviors that promote improved quantity and quality of sleep. These behaviors include the following. Avoid behaviors prior to sleep, such as being on the phone right before bed. Nighttime and wake time should ideally be the same time every day. If you cannot sleep within 15 minutes, try getting out of bed and performing a mundane task. Avoid coffee, alcohol, and nicotine and the hours before sleep. Avoid eating large meals prior to bed as this can lead to discomfort and maintain a room temperature comfortable for sleeping. Ideal sleep range for optimal health varies across the lifespan with a gradual decrease from birth to older adulthood. It can be concluded from previous research that adults need at least seven to nine hours of sleep per night, whereas adolescents need eight to 10 hours. However, athletes need more sleep than non-athletes to promote recovery and restoration processes after placing the body under a high amount of stress. With that said, adolescent athletes who compete in heavy training should aim for 10 hours per night, where elite level athletes may need up to 12 hours a night for adequate recovery and physiological adaptations to occur. I do want to note that even though the research is out proving the importance of sleep as a recovery tool, most athletes tend to get less than eight hours of sleep per night. Muscle soreness, inflammation, and pain can inhibit sleep quality. Therefore, athletes should try to reduce these symptoms in order to enhance their sleep quality and duration. For example, common recovery strategy tools include cold water immersion or ice baths, whole body cryotherapy like the service we offer here at Elite Wellness, or compression garments or compression tools like the air relax boots we also offer here at Elite. Anxiety prior to bed can lead to poor sleep quality and issues falling asleep. Relaxation techniques, goal setting, imagery, and self tasks can help reduce the anxiety response in athletes. Athletes can practice visualization therapy techniques, ask the athlete to close their eyes and focus on letting go of a muscular tension, uh, starting from the head, working down to the feet so they can visualize it. 
Simultaneously, have the athlete control their breathing, slow and deep controlled breaths. Lastly, let's talk about the direct effect sleep has on performance variables. Looking at endurance capacity and anaerobic power, both show that sleep deprivation inhibits performance due to increased RPE. RPE meaning rating of perceived exertion. So in other words, performance declines because the individual perceives the training session or exercise as harder than it should be. For example, in a study of 11 males, those with 30 hours of sleep deprivation had less distance covered in a self-paced treadmill test than those who followed a normal sleep routine, where another study found that one night of sleep deprivation led to a decrease in time till exhaustion in volleyball players. Other published research found that mean and peak power outputs during a Wingate test significantly decreased after 36 hours of sleep deprivation. Lastly, pre-exercise muscle glycogen stores have been shown to decrease after sleep deprivation. A mechanism to explain this can be due to an alteration in substrate availability. So relying on more carbs for fuel than fat storage for fuel. Looking at sprint performance, a previous study found that a two hour sleep extension period lasting five to seven weeks enhanced sprint test times, decreased ratings of fatigue, and enhanced performance during not only practices, but also during games. One study looking at resistance training found that after three consecutive nights of only three hours of sleep, all eight subjects decreased their maximal weight lifted per bench press, leg press, and deadlift. Research has consistently shown sleep deprivation can impair accuracy in athletic events, where accuracy has been shown to improve after following a period of sleep extension. A study we looked at found one night of only five hours of sleep led to a decrease in serving accuracy up to 53% in a group of tennis players compared to the accuracy shown after a normal night's sleep. Another study found that a sleep extension from an average of 6.6 .6 to 8.5 hours a night in collegiate male basketball players led to a 9% increase in free throw accuracy and a 9.2 increase in three point percentages amongst players. Sleep is important for memory consolidation, meaning sleep is important for taking a temporary memory and turning it into a stable, long-term memory stored within the brain. One night of sleep restriction was found to cause negative effects on inhibitory control, negatively affecting decision-making during athletic events. For example, decision-making in athletic events can be a libero deciding where the hitter is hitting the ball or a quarterback deciding which receiver to throw the ball to. Research has shown impaired sleep is associated with an increased risk for injury. One specific study found that high school and middle school athletes who reported less than eight hours of sleep per night were 70% more likely to report an injury than those who reported more than eight hours of sleep per night. Decreased sleep has been shown to cause immunosuppressive responses in the body and can even increase the likelihood to upper respiratory infections. Research has concluded that sleep deprivation, increased perceived stress levels, and depressive symptoms may contribute to an increased risk of illness around athletic events. All right, we hope you learned something about sleep and recovery from watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us here on our Instagram.